One country still in the running for England 2015 qualification is Germany. Following their last victory against the Czech Republic, they sit at the top of Division 1B in the European Nations Cup and a bonus point victory in their final game against Sweden this weekend will secure both promotion and a World Cup playoff match against the Netherlands. We looked at what Belgium achieved in their last two years there. Um, after they went up and, and they, they were very close beating one or two, two of the countries there. And we believe that we can offer the same quality even better if we work hard. Rugby in Deutschland has sich in the last years recht gut entwickelt. Rugby in Germany has developed really well in the last couple of years. We've managed to raise the number of players from 9,000 to over 14,000. I think we're now heading in the right direction with the 15s to move up the world rankings. It's a great sport and, and, and the third biggest biggest sport in the world and television-wise on the World Cup. I don't think the German German public knows that and because football is so big in the country. So it's a real struggle for us because you're always fighting against that and, 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 and players, uh, you know, you get, you get I, don't, I don't know how many leagues in Germany of, 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 of football that gets, gets paid and in rugby we struggle to fund the national team. So it is, it is a bit difficult there. Yeah. The majority of the squad is amateur and the players have to balance rugby with work and family life. Well, being an amateur team, it's important we all show the same commitment as each other. Also, as an amateur myself, it's important I always attend the training sessions, with everyone else doing the same because it's a team sport where you have to progress. You cannot say, I am an amateur, so I will not go to training today. You have to make the effort. Kobus has given the whole thing more of a professional feel. You definitely notice it. For the first time, it was implemented that you needed to attend the training sessions to be able to play. It was also arranged that if you are present and if you perform, you become a regular player in the team. As a result, the team has become more cohesive, and I think that's what defines team sport. We are a small union, so we don't have a big player base. It would be nice to have a bit more guys that can train train longer, but I think to, on, on the amateur side of things, guys is doing it for the love of the game. So, you know, when the guy comes here every morning at 8 o'clock, uh, training when it's minus 18 or snowing and, and, and he's here, then you know he's doing it for the right reasons. And it's not just the structure that's evolving, but also their desire to compete on rugby's greatest stage. The German Rugby Association, the players and the authorities are highly motivated and dedicated. They are involved with strong enthusiasm and wish that German rugby develops more on the international level. We must aim to achieve promotion to Group 1A and we must believe that we can still qualify for the Rugby World Cup. I have never concentrated on any World Cups, but always done things in small steps. Of course, it would be a dream come true for me to play in a World Cup, but I have always lived with a realistic attitude. We are a small group, but if we set our goals and visions and stay focused, then I definitely think that we can achieve a lot. Sometimes it's hard to look too far into the future, but I think this is a problem we have to solve. If we manage to solve this, then there is a lot of power in German rugby.